So the book that you'll have to study, I have my book published on that topic, which I'm going to conduct. The best way to fight phone addiction is... Hello everyone, this is Saeed Vaisal Rahman. Welcome back to another video. In this particular video, I am going to explain you how I was able to boost my score right from 200 in biology to 345 in my neat second attempt. So first thing that you'll have to do is keep your mind pretty clear. You will have to be sure of what book you have to study. So the book that you'll have to study is NCRT and NCRT alone. So I had this debate with my friend back then during my coaching days. So I asked him, uh, suppose if I were to conduct a paper and I have my book published on that topic, which I'm going to conduct the test on. And there are other publishers as well. So which book would you refer if I would conduct the test? And his answer was, of course, the book that you are published. So that's the exact point that I'm trying to make here. That the NCRT, uh, obviously CBSE has published it. And before NTA, CBSE used to conduct the test. Now NTA does the very same job of CBSE. The only thing is its name has changed, National Testing Agency. So the fact is, the prescribed book is what you have to follow. Because I bet you, you will realize once you have written unit exam, you'll realize that all the questions are from NCERT. So the book that you have to refer is NCERT itself. So now that we have figured out which book to study, the next step is how to essentially study. Now here lies the true essence. So first things first, there might be two categories of students here. One who have enough time to go into detail and the other students whose time is constrained. So let me first talk about the students who have enough time to go about. So the first reading that you do, it should be primarily for understanding. So in this reading, you need not memorize anything. So what you have to do here, if you have got enough time, is read a paragraph. Try to explain that to yourself. So by acting as a teacher, what you're making sure is that you have understood the concept. So read only from NCRT, one paragraph or maybe two paragraphs, depending upon your convenience, and then explain that to yourself or your friend if you have that luxury of studying with group. So this is what you have to consider. Now for students who do not have enough time, you guys can just read NCRT once and I'm pretty sure you would be 80% efficient of that person who's trying to explain. But if you're explaining that to someone else, the thing that you're guaranteeing is that you have understood it perfectly well. So let's go ahead with the second thing that you have to do. Once you are done with reading NCRT for understanding, the second thing that you have to do is do previous year questions. So what happens when you do previous year questions is it is a reassurance for you that look, whatever you have, whatever you have read is what's being asked in the NEET exam. Because previous year questions are essentially from NCRT. So A, it acts as a reassurance and B, it pumps in confidence in you. So now you are more confident than ever because once you have done previous year questions, then I'm pretty sure you'd be confident that you would do the same year's questions as well. So the next step after previous year questions is course. Now there are certain uh, chapters which require you to memorize more than those chapters which require to memorize less. For example, plant physiology from class 11 and a bunch of other topics which have too many examples for you to remember. So here, you'll have to treat your brain as an innocent kid. Now, how do you please kid uh, to do work? Obviously, you won't pressurize them first thing. So what you have to make sure is you'll have to be very smart. You'll have to play with your brain. So I will highlight those examples which you'll have to obviously memorize but don't think as you're memorizing it just glance through it once now what you have to do is you have to highlight things which are important and you glance through them once and close your book and try to recall as many examples as you can now at the first go you might be able to recall two examples that's totally fine that's done for the day open book glance once again close it now these examples are the ones which you have to carry forward so every day open your book glance through them close the book that's it your work is done so by doing this imagine if you have glanced the same thing for about seven days imagine you have actually read it for seven days but with not much pressure you were relaxed all through the time yet you know what this examples were so also 
need is an mcqs based exam so you will have to identify the correct option you need not write anything you need not worry about the spelling and all other stuff all you have to do is understand what the option is so i tell highlight and glance this is the best way of remembering or memorizing the examples so what if you have really less time and you still want to memorize the best thing is active recall so you glance through once you close your book you try to recollect those examples this will drain your energy but if the time is really less then active recall will definitely work for you also you can make flash card but that's going to be time consuming and here it's all about being more efficient so i tell highlight underline and close your book try to recollect uh, do this in a spaced repetition manner that is on that very same day after 3 days and after about a week and i'm pretty sure you remember all those examples also what you can do instead is a practice mcqs related to those example related questions now the best book that i would recommend for practicing mcqs apart from previous questions is ncert mtg ncert at fingertips so this is the book that i used for practicing mcqs whenever i was bored of reading physics and chemistry so you can as well try this out instead of using your phone go ahead practice uh, mcqs of biology because it literally carries 360 marks half the marks it's pretty simple to score and i'm pretty sure you will if you have made it till here i would really appreciate you to take some effort and like this video because i'm pretty sure if you do that it's going to bring happiness in your face in my face and um, maybe it's going to cause you get an extra mcq correct i'm just telling it you know i do pray uh well coming back to the topic now what is the best time to actually read in crt so what i believe is so whenever you start your day start with a topic of ncert that you have already covered a it's going to help you in revision and b it's going to make your day you know a bit more positive because you are reading the stuff that you have already written or that you have already read so uh, early morning best time for reading ncert then followed by a uh, difficult subjects and then end your day with a moderate subject solving mcqs uh, also i want to take this uh, video as an opportunity to tell you that look through your phone so i'm pretty sure your phones would be charged 100% when you are in the morning because overnight charging of course and then as the day proceeds so the more the, the more you use the phone obviously the battery will drain down so use a simple exercise make sure your battery doesn't uh, come below 80% the best way to fight phone addiction is a lot time so you have to accept the fact that you cannot live with your phone of course like no one can uh, unless and until you have, you have never been given a phone but uh, i've been practicing this up recently and it really helps a lot 15 to half an hour 15 minutes to half an hour during the day at any time but it should be uh, within the allotted time so let's say evening 9 to 9:30 use phone and apart from that don't even look at phone so all the things that you have to do with phone only during this time and apart from that you are being productive so i know it's going to be hard but i tell uh, it's never going to be impossible uh, i strongly believe that you guys are super strong because you have that determination and you are confident you are relaxed all these things are super important that's it for this video hope you did like this video now if you did you know what to do like share subscribe and until next video this is wiser signing off Bye bye take care